Alexandria. Woo Today we are in the magical city of Alexandria. This is a very ancient city filled with mysteries, filled with lighthouses, filled with libraries, well, former lighthouses and former libraries, and filled with amazing people. We're on the middle of the street, going to explore it, gonna have a good time, gonna have some food, gonna enjoy. Come with me on experience throughout Alexandria. Once in a lifetime, like you've never seen before. Hello, nice to meet you. Ah. How are you? No, I thank you. I don't need a carriage. I just want to walk. Yes. Very nice city of Alexandria. There are kids here with balloons. Destroying the poor man's ice cream shop. Interesting. There are people here with corn. Selling on the side of the road. In some kind of beans. I know exactly. And people are having a good day. They are chilling and they are enjoying a nice view over the sea, over the Mediterranean Sea. I see people fishing. I see people having a good time. And me myself is walking. Thank you so much, man. Where are you from? Romania. 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 Yes. It's uh, also from the very hard language. Very hard language? Yeah. Eh, Egyptian is also, like, Arabic is also very hard language for me. But uh, you can learn some words. So I, I only know Yalla Yalla Habibi and Shukran. Yalla Yalla Habibi, this is good. Yes, thank you. But you don't have to say Habibi. What can I say? Uh, yalla Yalla Bina. Yalla Yalla Bina. No, just one Yalla. Yalla, okay. Yalla Bina. Yalla Bina. Yeah. And what does it mean? Habibi. Habibi? No, no, what yeah. does it mean Yalla Bina? Let's go. Let's go? Yeah. Okay, Yalla Bina, Alexandria. <laughs> Very good, welcome, my friend. Welcome. Thank you so much. Where, where, what are you doing here? I'm just visiting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoy? It? Enjoying, yes. So far, people are nice. Food is good. So Thank you. Enjoying. Well, where have you been in Egypt? I've been to Cairo, I've been to Giza, and yeah. now I come here. I don't like Cairo. Eh, it's, it's so crowded. Crowded, so nice. yes. So noisy. Yes, Alexandria is more relaxing. It's more relaxed. And okay. also the culture. If you're doing video, we have here many places. Yeah, I know. There's a former lighthouse over there. There's no a library lighthouse. somewhere. No lighthouse. No more lighthouse? No lighthouse, because this is my job. Okay. Yeah, I work at Dive Master, at Digital Diving. Okay. Like this, the area still named the lighthouse. Okay. But no any lighthouse anymore. Yeah, no anymore. It's long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But you can go to the castle this way. Yeah, yeah, I this see one the castle. Until midnight. Until midnight? Yeah. Very good. From outside. Inside, uh, the building is not important to go to visit. Okay. Because you pay entrance and you don't see nothing. Okay. Abul Abbas Mosque also, to, it's interesting to see. Uh, the big one over there, right? Yeah, this is Seba Mosque and Seba Mosque and this one is free entrance. You okay. Nothing. Interesting. I've been there last night, we got some food and I went around the mosque but I didn't go inside. Some food, you are a group? Uh, it's me and my wife. All right, all right. Yes. What do you eat? I eat. Anything. If the food is good, I eat no, it. No, no, I mean yesterday. What do you eat? Uh, some fish and some... Uh, Where do you eat fish? I don't remember. It was a small restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. It's much better to go to the market where they sell almost the fresh fish. Okay. Yeah. And you can find the, the fish already cooked or only fresh? They're cooking for you there. Oh, nice. You can discuss the way how you like to eat. And Perfect. And the cheaper and the fresh. The place where we went, we just went inside. The guy showed me the fish. He said how much you want, how, how you want it to be cooked. Yeah, yeah. And the food was okay. Because actually all the restaurants by the sea part, they don't have selling the fresh fish. Okay. They have the fish by quantity and they put in ice. Okay. Back, back of the mosque, we have the market, they sell the fresh fish. Okay, so behind the mosque. Back of the mosque. Okay, yeah, behind. Good okay. Market. Good. How you can say hello in your language? Salut, bună ziua. In your language? Yes, in my language. How? Salut. 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 This is Spanish. It's in Romanian as well. Salut. Salut. For Very good. Romania. Thank you so much, man. You Have a nice day. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Okay. So far, nice welcome to Alexandria. Going around the street, you never know what's going to happen. So, apparently, I've gotten here to a nice park. Let's cross the road and explore it a little bit. I've been told that to cross the road here in Egypt, you just go like this. You basically use the force and the cars will not run you over. And it's going just like that. Boom! So, similar like in Pakistan or in India or more or less everywhere that we've been so far before. Just walk slowly 
then they won't kill you. And let go stupid. Okay? The traffic is getting harder and harder and harder. Okay. Hard part is over. And now I made it to the nice looking park. I wonder where do you go inside? I think maybe that way. Because there's some fences. And apparently this is a very nice hangout place. You can enjoy the nice view from here, from Alex, as the locals call it. Ooh. If there's one thing that I really like about Alexandria is the fact that there are a lot of nice places here, including this nice looking mosaic mural and very nice European looking buildings. It has a very different vibe than Cairo in a way. Even though in Cairo you have European looking buildings as well, but I know here apparently thing is a bit different. And the people are a bit more, I don't know, friendly in a way. They don't approach you to convince you to buy their stuff that much and they know what no means. So that's a good thing in my book. Okay, let's see how to cross the road. And then uh, that way. Oh. Okay, so far, so good. I like this city, it has a very nice vibe. I wonder though if the food is good as well. Let's see if we can find some street food today. Hello! This thing looks very good. What is the name? This crepe. Crepe. Next cheese and vegetables. Okay, how much is one? Next only cheese. Uh, I don't know. 35. Cheese, and cheese and vegetable meat, and, meat. and meat and everything, yes. Okay. okay. 57, uh, 75. 75? Okay. Okay, one. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. One for me. One mix uh, cheese. Uh, yes, one with cheese and meat and everything. And yes. Okay. Thank you. I pay you or I pay him? Okay. I pay you. Okay. okay. Welcome. Thank you. Shukran. Ooh. Uh, spicy. Yes. Ooh. Looks very nice. From Romania. Ooh. Oh man, I wish you could smell it through the camera because it's amazing. And this is cheesy, yes. Very good. Oh, you have multiple types of cheese, not only one. Another cheese. Okay. One cheese, two cheese, three, and then three cheese. three cheese. Okay, very good. Mom. Okay. So far I haven't tried this thing uh, while I was here, I saw a lot of people on the side of the road eating these things, so apparently I think they are good, let's see, we will try it out. At the moment it looks very good, it's kind of like a pancake in a way. How long have you been doing this? What? How long have you been doing this? Seven minutes. No, 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 how long you been here working in this shop? Uh, 20 years. 20 years? Oh. Hey, that's an old one, okay, nice. Oh. And the third type of cheese. Hmm? Yummy. Uh, not Instagram, YouTube. Wait, I can search. This one. Hey. Yes. Hey. Pizza man. <laughs> you have very good skills, my friend. Very good. <laughs> hey, don't drop it. <laughs> is, are you sure it's a crepe shop and not a pizza shop? No, no, no. Crepe. Crepe, very good. No pizza. Usually they do this with the pizza, you know? Not bad. 
Okay, so you get the cut, but you get free entertainment as well. That's nice. El Onda. Onda. El Onda. Okay. Looks nice. Ooh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so now they took it from here and they put it here. This yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Interesting. My name is Michael. What's your name? Omar. Omar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah, no bag. It's okay. I'm gonna eat it on the street. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. Have a nice one. Okay. That was fun. Let's see how the crepe is. Because Omar was saying it's very good. And everybody on the street I saw so far eating one. And, well, I managed to open it up. And now let's try it. Ah, apparently it's harder to put it in your mouth. Because there's a lot of packaging but I can manage hmm oh yes hmm very good you have the cheese especially the one here on the top which is melted and it has a nice crust you have the meat inside you have the other cheese in the middle all the three types of cheeses and the veggies and the sauce that Omar put to there very good so far I think this is my favorite street food thing that I've tried while here in Egypt I saw them in Cairo as well but I don't know for some reason I never found the place where they were selling it now I'm lucky to have tried them here and they are super good mm. as a snack or as a, I don't know, food to go. This is better than a shawarma. This is better than anything else. It's not so expensive. This one, because it's filled with everything, it's 75 lira. The other one is like 25 pounds. So, good. I recommend you to try this one if you are ever in Alexandria. A few moments later. Hello. Can I sit outside for a coffee and a shisha? Okay. okay, thank you. Oh yeah. Perfect. Now time to relax and enjoy and wait for Gigi. Coffee. 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 Coffee, small, Turkish. Sugar, sugar. Turkish. Sugar. Turkish, small. No sugar. No sugar, no milk. No sugar, no egg. Yes. Milk. Oh, shake. And uh, shisha, puka. Shisha. Shisha. Salam alas. Uh, what do you mean? Salam alas. Uh, I know, apple. Tufaha. Apple. Apple. Amde. Tufaha. Eh, apple, tufaha. Okay. Thank you. Tukran. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see how the coffee is. Oh yes, very good. Turkish coffee, the best coffee. Forget about Starbucks, forget about Costa, forget about the fancy brands. If you want to have a good coffee, you come to one of these places on the side of the road. You sit down, order a nice shisha and a nice coffee or a Thai or a chai or a tea or whatever floats your boat. And you enjoy, like the locals, a good time. Very nice. Hello, Gigi. How are you? Tired. Very tired? Yeah. But we still have time to explore around. Okay, let's go. Okay, let me pay for this and I'm coming right away. Okay, come on Gigi, let's go. The library is waiting for us. Thank you, bye bye. And we finally made it 
to the famous, the one, the only, the unique, the one in the history books, the Alexandria Library. Bum, ba, da, bum. Let's go inside Gigi. I'm curious what we can find and what secrets lie deep and dark underneath the library. So we got these tickets for the main library, which were like 150 pounds. There were over 40,000 papyrus uh, scrolls inside this library that contained the whole knowledge of the ancient world. Unfortunately, everything got destroyed in a massive fire, but the people here built nowadays in the modern era, they built a wonderful library in the memory of what used to be the center of knowledge and the education of the ancient world. And we just got some more tickets for the museum here inside for 100 per person. You're gonna find a lot of statues and uh, things, objects that were discovered here actually in Alexandria. They were dug out and preserved here in the, in the museum. You're gonna find a really interesting piece I think that I found there was a big mosaic of a dog from a Greek period. Very big and just imagine people were walking on it back in the day. I think that's amazing. It, the, the detail of work, that's incredible too. One of the most interesting things I think you can find here in the library are actually a few of the papyruses themselves that were here back in the day. Or well, this is at least what the people are saying. So millennia old documents that were preserved back in the day in the original library itself so uh, that's pretty cool one very interesting thing about this library is the fact that it's the second largest library in the world after the New York Grand Library and it has over 2 million books in different languages in English Spanish Arabic and like all of these other languages international ones and it has over 1.5 million visitors every year it's huge, it has so many levels of books and books and more books and computers and areas where you can study and including a museum. And inside the museum you find various artifacts, including a section of the former president Anwar Sadat, which was killed in 1981 in an assassination. I don't really know that much about uh, Egyptian politics, but then again, he must have been important because the whole wing of the museum is dedicated to him. So, even if you're not that much into reading books or learning or studying, this library has a bit of everything for everybody. You can chill out in the multimedia room, you can go and visit the museum, you can enjoy a nice book here and you can escape the busy city of Alexandria and come here to the quiet place. One of the wonders of the ancient world. And now, pretty modern looking library. Okay, so we heard the food is very good here, so that's why we're gonna try to have some food here. Michael is coming too. That's nice. Please speak. Uh, welcome to Egypt. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this place looks interesting. People are friendly. Hopefully, the food is good. We got some pastrami with some egg. That was supposed to be cheese as well, but uh, cheese no more available. And then we have some baba garouche, which is eggplants. We have some uh, beans and some uh, pickles and uh, some falafel are on the way. So let's see. I love this bread. I don't know what's the name of the bread. Ash, ash. Bread. Yes. Let's see how the... 
past the man in the station. Okay, great. Okay. So one minute. Whatever, thank you. A good pastrami looks nice. I'm going to try the bubble garnish because I love it. Mmm. 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 Pastrami is amazing. Did you? You have to try the pastrami. I'm going to have to try this one too. The bubble garnish is a little bit salty and a little bit spicy. Okay. And garlicky. Let's see. So good. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, did you? Eggplant salad is my favorite thing in the world. Very good. Good choice. I, I think this is a traditional Egyptian restaurant in the middle of Alexandria. Very well hidden. Unless you know of it, you can miss it very quickly. This is the pastrami thing. Huh? What kind of meat is this? I don't know. Some kind of meat from some kind of strange animal, but uh, a very good kind of animal and a very good kind of meat. This is Thank you. Mm. I think so far my favorite one is the pastrami, and then second favorite is the baba mm -hmm. And let me try the pickles as well. Mm. They go with falafel. Oh. I have an idea. I combine the falafel with the mm -hmm. Amazing. Best falafel I had so far in all of Egypt. No joke. So this is this is from Sheep Karim. Sheep Karim. Okay. Best baba ganoush in Alexandria. Number one. Thank you. Number one. Thank you. Okay. And we got one more. Gigi, we have a lot of food here. How do we finish? I have no idea how I'm going to fit everything inside. But I'm going to try. This thing is. Oh, shout out to Chuk Karim. Shout out to Chuk Karim. He's the best. <laughs> Number one Baba Ganush in Alexandria. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, it's on now. Welcome to Egypt and I hope to come again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can you give the chicks visit? Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. He's a funny guy. <laughs> I asked him for the check and said, turn on the video. I will have to say something. Chef Karim, Baba Ganosh number one. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Good to see you too. Bye. <laughs> Very lovely people here. Amazing, very sweet, and very welcoming. Here at uh, Mohammed Ahmed restaurant. Yeah, yes. really nice. From 1957. Yeah, that was really sweet. And the people are very welcoming. And just like that, spoof to the miracle of public transportation, we took a tram to get all the way here to the nice port. Here used to be the tallest building in the entire world. So this is another one of the seven uh, ancient world wonders. That's yes. really perfect. Both of them are in Egypt. You have the Alexandria Lighthouse, well, what's left of it, I will, and the Pyramids of Giza, which is still standing. Wow. This is incredible to find like these amazing kind of uh, historical wonders from, from the ancient world. I think that's amazing. Yeah, nowadays you have only this uh, castle here left, as the nice guy in the beginning told us. I like visiting the city, I like visiting Alexandria, I love the library and I like the people. I love the fact that it's situated in a beautiful gulf and you have access to so much history and so much seafood and uh, a beautiful views during the evening as well. So I think it's, uh, it's interesting what it was preserved since like thousands of years ago. The library, I think, is the highlight of the day for me. Ah, it's incredible. For me, the highlight of the day was definitely the Baba Ganoush that we had at the restaurant earlier. <laughs> because I still feel it in my tummy and it is, was amazing. Okay, that being said, time for us to go. I hope you liked the video. Let us know if you're thinking about going to Egypt or if, you, if you've been here before or if you would visit Alexandria. Okay, yalla yalla Habibi. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>